Good morning, everybody. It's Brittany at Big Cat Rescue in Tampa, Florida. I was stalking Gilligan. He's down in that far section, but he kept hooing, and I wanted you guys to hear it. I don't, I don't think he's gonna do it again, though. Good morning, Kathy. Good morning, Pauline. Gilligan, were you talking? Morning, Robin. Hi, Cynthia. Gilligan, were you talking? He was just making his hooing noises. Who? What are you talking about? Morning, Diana. Morning, Rochelle. Hey, Jerry. Good morning, everybody. Here with Gilligan. Gilligan's our Canada Lynx. <laughs> I wasn't even gonna stop at him. I was driving by and he kept making his cute little hoo noises. So I stopped. You wanna do it again? That'd be pretty cool. Morning, Karen. Morning, Lee. Good morning, Camille. Yeah, I went live a little bit later today. Um, I was pulling through the back gate and when you pull in through the back gate as staff, you always radio that you're on property. And almost the moment I said I was on property, Devin radioed me, he's the coordinator today, and was like, can you help feed? <laughs> and I was like, of course. Hey Peggy, good morning. Gil again, I bet you're gonna do it again as soon as I leave. My goal was to head down and see the cougar cubs. So you guys can check in on them. As most of you know, last Thursday, Artemis saw Dr. Justin and had a, a lump removed. All right, there he goes. Good morning, Angie. And when she was coming back out of the hospital, we decided to move the boys to be next door to her. They can't be with her yet because uh, she does have um, stitches or sutures and we don't want the boys messing with those. So I fed back route this morning. I'm sure Jamie's gonna look at my time clock and be like, what the heck? And it's two days in a row now I've been like back and forth. I'm either staff and then I'm a keeper and then I'm staff and then I'm a keeper. <laughs> so, morning Becky. Oh, there's Miss Artemis. I already see her. She's loving this enclosure. Actually, all of them are. Thank you, Mitch, for your donation. That's very kind of you. I'm going to leave my cart there out of the way. Hi, Miss Miss. Here's Artemis. Here's Miss Artemis. What you doing? I hear Beecher talking. I'm trying to get to the gate. Beecher's going crazy. Hi, lady. Was you less upset at me? She actually was chirpy and purring at me yesterday. I thought after the hospital she was gonna really hold a grudge. Hi. Um, I see a lot of people asking about Cameron. If you're new to us and don't know what I'm talking about, what we're looking at, this is Artemis Cougar. But a quick update on Cameron, our male lion. I know on Sunday he ate about five pounds. I believe yesterday he maybe ate about two pounds. And they're still trying to get medicine into him, but that's the last update I have. So this is Artemis. Um, if you notice, let me see. see if we can see her in the vision. Oh, I hear your brother back there sneezing. Nope, she's like, I'm just gonna keep watching you. This is Artemis. She's very, very happy in this den. Yesterday she was having a lot of fun. She was, you can see the shaved area on the back of her head. Um, but her incision looks really, really good. Yesterday she was running back and forth, um, stalking and chasing Cricket, the serval that lives next door. So 
can see a little bit of her incision there, but it, it's dry and it looks really, really good. Thank you, Angel, for your donation. Really appreciate that. Alright, let's go find these boys. See what these boys are up to. So, Aries and Orion are just right next door to her. So they can all see each other and still communicate, but they're not able to be together yet because we don't want them trying to help her with her incision. Hi! Look very cozy up there. So Aries has always been the one that really, really loves lounging on platforms, so he seems to be enjoying this one a lot. So the first cougar I showed you was Artemis, and that's the sister. And this is Aries. He's the largest of the three. Artemis is the smallest of the three. They're very cozy. The boys had a great time yesterday. I think I saw Tanya post uh, one of her videos in the group, um, but they actually called me out they were like, they've been playing like this for over 10 minutes. And of course, by the time I got out, they were winding down. They really had a really good time. They've been ripping palmettos out of the ground. Lots of airplanes today. Thank you, Samantha, for your donation. We do have very noisy birds and very noisy Sometimes they're all yelling at each other. <laughs> Let's go find that other rowdy boy. I think I see him all the way in the back. We'll look for Orion. It's still very muddy through here. Watch what I'm doing. Hi! Hi, handsome boy! I gotta go around. So I believe one of the ideas of bringing the cubs back over onto this side, and of course I keep calling them cubs, but they are 13 years old, was so that they can easily, easily go to Funcation. Hi! Hi, handsome! Hi! Are you having a good time? Here, let me adjust this a bit. You having a good time? This is Orion. Orion's all very drooly. He must have something good over there. Find something good. Yeah, they've been playing with every toy in these enclosures. They've been the palmetto that you see behind him. They've just been clawing and pulling and chewing. Hi, good boy. Hi, very good boy. Where's brother? Where's brother? Where's brother? Usually the boys like to stick together. Oh, well, now you got way too close and I can't see you. Here we go. Yep, so an interesting fact about these guys is that the cougars are the largest cat that can still have a true purr. Everything over that is more of a sawing or a roar. Eating everything. <laughs> I'm showing you a great example of how all of the enclosures are connected. So there's doorways and tunnels. Eventually, once we open up Aries and Orion to Artemis, we'll have these tunnels put together. And they'll actually have all of this tunnel that'll make a U shape, which comes back over here and we'll connect to Artemis. So they'll have her enclosure plus their two enclosures plus the tunnel system. Similar to how they were over on the other side of the sanctuary when they were next door to Priya. Now they're next door to Funcation, which is a 22,000 square foot enclosure that they get rotated out for two weeks at a time for vacation. Go back to Artemis for a minute. 
and we'll see if any of the other neighbors are home in this area. I think I saw somebody asking about tickets. We do um, try to encourage that you purchase your tickets before your tour. Uh, certain times of the year they sell out pretty quick, usually around the holidays for sure. Anytime that schools aren't in session, we're really busy. Um, but go to bigcatrescue.org slash tickets and then you can purchase them then. But um, usually a couple days before you want to come would be a good idea. Because all of a sudden, just for no reason at all, we could sell out in a day. No rhyme or reason. Oh, it's Beecher. Beecher's going crazy. So our miss is doing well. For any of you that watched her procedure last week. Let's pop over here. Thank you to everybody helping answer questions. I'm not really watching the screen too much other than to make sure my picture is clear. <sighs> I hear you. I'm coming. For heaven's sakes. For heaven's sakes. Oh, these gates are getting me today, Beecher. Hi, Beach Boy! Hi, little Beach Boy! Who are you calling at? Who are you calling? We came over to say hi. Yes, it is a beautiful day here in Tampa today. We're gonna see 60s and 70s today, I believe. The sun is actually out. Yeah, it is. So Beecher is a Savannah cat. For those of you that don't know, uh, Savannah cats are when they breed domestic cats with wild African servals. It's a terrible idea. It's just not right. It's not natural. I know. Should we go see Noisy Cyrus? I heard him run up. Hi, Cyrus! Hi, Cyrus! What are you doing, cutie pie? What are you doing? No more trills? I heard your trill earlier. Cyrus! Cyrus and Beecher are neighbors. Very, very chatty neighbors. Beach, you're still talking. That's Cameron roaring. Um, no, I haven't heard anything else about um, Artemis's um, lump that was removed and anything that they found out about that. I'm actually not part of the vet group emails. I probably should be, but I know it's an awful lot of emails. Um, just so I kind of know what's happening and a lot of times I wait and hear it like the rest of you, so. Yeah. You're very handsome. You and your neighbors. Oh, here's that boy. Here's that other handsome boy. This is Hutch. Hi, Hutch. This little trio in this corner, they just, they have my heart. You guys are so silly. So Hutch is an African serval. I know. Uh, actually, I ended last week with the leopards. And Manny. I always show Manny. Manny's everyone's fave. Oh my goodness. So Hutch. Yes, Hutch. Such a cutie pie.
What happened? You get stuck down here? You get stuck down here? All right. Oh. Yep, he's got to be like, this is my territory. This is mine. You guys are just joining. We have, uh, we spent a little time with Gilligan. We have seen Artemis, Orion, and Aries. <laughs> all right, I turn back around. Oh, how do you choose when all three of them want your attention? Now we're at Cyrus, Beecher, and Hutch. Hi. I came back. I came back. I know. Every time I walk away from Cyrus, he trills. Hutch, I never see you up there. That looks very fun. Don't you jump. You have a ramp. And you can take the ramp. I just love Hutch. I've been completing my office. My office was just like a white cube and every time I get a coupon or I see a deal on like a canvas or a large print, I've been printing them. So I've got Gabby and Seth and Khalid, Tiger Lily and Pharaoh, but I've got to get a handful more. And it's going to be Hutch and Cyrus and Smalls and Gilligan. Yeah, what are you doing up there? You're so handsome. Please don't jump though. He does have a very, very curly tail. How'd that tail get so curly? He's got a raccoon tail. He's got a raccoon tail. do any petting here. Um, we consider petting a wild animal very disrespectful and it could be very harmful to you and the cat. Uh, Kitty, I wouldn't want him to jump because look how high up he is, first of all. All the way down and he's also 13 years old. So I just don't think that would be a good idea. It only takes them landing strangely one time to get injured. Yeah, if you guys are new to us, this is Big Cat Rescue in Tampa, Florida. We're one of the world's largest accredited sanctuaries. And that basically means we don't do any buying, selling, trading, breeding, or touching any of these cats. And we're leading the fight in creating better laws against people having these pets, these cats as pets, or breeding them to be photo props or entertainment. We just think they should be able to be born wild and free and not in cages. A lot of people don't understand that if you breed a cat in a cage, it can never go free. You look very happy up there, sir. I like this. I like you on your platform. Look how smiley you look. We have 60 cats here on 67 acres. And you can learn about each of them at bigcatrescue.org slash catbio. You are so handsome. Yes, this is Hutch Serval still. We'll walk back by Cyrus and then we'll go try to see if Diablo or Chaos are out. You look very cozy up there. away. Can't stand at the same cat all day. 
Alright, let's see what chaos is doing. <laughs> Master Keeper Cindy's cleaning out here. I think Beecher was actually calling for her attention. Sometimes Chaos will also spend her morning on her platform. But I don't see her yet. She could be in this den. That's another favorite spot. Here she is! Hi, lady! Thank you. Good morning to you too. I see you got a bag that you really enjoyed. We hand out spice bags and perfume tubes to the cats pretty frequently. They like to rub and roll all over them and they also shred them. Looks like you did a little bit of both. So she's just grooming after breakfast. This is Chaos, and she's a female caracal. Can't see you very well in that dark den. Let's maybe try to see Diablo. It's cute, I got a, a message from my very good friends that was a keeper out here, and she recently moved up to Pensacola. Of course, she had some deep bonds with some of these cats, and her favorite was Diablo. And her nickname for Diablo has always been Tiny Gentleman. <laughs> and she left me a message today and was like, I miss my Tiny Gentleman. So I'm going to see if we can see him today. Make sure he knows that he's still loved from afar. But he might also... Oh, he's right there. He's right there. Hi, tiny gentleman. Hi. Hi, sweet boy. Hi. You over here talking to Cyrus? This is Diablo. Diablo is also a Savannah cat. Diablo really, really likes Cyrus, though. You can see Cyrus is hanging out right there in his feeding lockout, <laughs> hoping for second breakfast. What are you doing? Oh, I hear you. Are you talking to your buddy here? I don't think I'll see you any better from this one. Great camouflage, though. Go back to where I could actually see him. Hi, Diablo. Yes, yeah, Sarah misses you. I'll have to tell her to watch this. It's definitely the tough thing about getting attached to these cats. <laughs> so if you guys are just joining, we've seen Artemis, Aries, and Orion, our cougar cubs that are actually 13 years old. And we've seen Beecher, Cyrus, Hutch, Chaos, and Diablo. I gave a little update that Cameron ate about another two pounds yesterday. I'm trying to hit up all of the most common questions. I never really get to see Diablo, so this is pretty rare.
trying to read some questions finally while I'm just standing here. Um, I haven't really noticed male versus female, one being more friendly than another. Um, there's been some very friendly girls like Smalls, and then you have some very friendly boys like Cyrus, but Cyrus didn't start out friendly. That took about three months of coming out and saying hi to him every day, giving him sickles and enrichment. And then he got neutered, and then his whole personality changed. Hi! Then you became a sweetie pie. Yes, you became a sweetie pie. And I have not seen or heard any release dates for Alpha or Bravo and Tango. I'm also not part of the rehab program, so I don't get those emails or discussions either. I usually find out like a few days before, if that. <laughs> And then it's like, all right, charge your camera. <laughs> you keep that head in there. Oh my God, that was the cutest. All right, let's go see if Des is home. Let's see if Des is home somewhere we can actually see him. If you see the ground where I'm walking, you'll know why I'm not really watching the screen or reading the comments very often. You gotta watch where you're walking. I love Des because Des has this amazing big enclosure and he's so good at blending in. Oh, there he is. Des love his poo-roo. Hi, handsome. Hi. Let's see, how can I show them? Here. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. This is Des. Des is a three-legged serval. He was found that way on the side of a road in Arizona. Most likely an abandoned pet or breeder for the Savannah cat world. Thank you again to everybody helping answer questions. I see a lot of people replying to other people, which is just awesome. I love the community that we've built. Everybody help and educate everyone else. We do encourage questions, and if I miss any that no one else is able to answer, I do reach out to you in the comments after the feed is over. Everybody's got to learn somehow. So he's um, laying on a Kularu bed. All of our small cats really love these Kularu beds. It's like a mesh bedding that's raised off the ground a little bit, like a little hammock almost. And they all love them. Those were all donated by amazing supporters like you guys. Yes, exactly, a stable hammock. I absolutely crack up. I am sure most of you have seen the video of this beautiful like white cat that got an actual hammock that flips around and it took him like a bunch of different tries to learn how to use it. <laughs> a lot of hammock fails, but the end result was absolutely adorable. It's such a cute video. Not one of our videos, but just a cat video that's out there. We have tons of cat videos though. If you go to bigcattv.com or dailybigcat.com, those are our two main uh, YouTube channels put all of our lives on there. And Des, you look very comfortable. Yeah, Carrie, I understand why you say that, that it makes you think you want to pet them, but you know, you know that we don't and that we can't, but um, it's also just super dangerous. A lot of people don't understand that if a cat like this were to injure one of us, the CDC could have them uh, put down and tested for rabies. So you really are taking your life and their life in your own in your hands just just because you want to touch one. Thank you, Christine. I really, I've been having a good time with the GoPro videos. Peggy was just so awesome to have sent me a, a GoPro with all of the fixins. 
and um, when I'm out here as a regular volunteer, anytime I get to do something new, um, I've been trying to make sure I put that on. I want to do some, the problem is always finding the time, I'd like to do some where I actually make enrichment and hand it out, make some sickles and hand those out. So I've got lots of ideas, it's more about finding the time to do it and then the time to edit them. <laughs> Deb, yes, there are snakes on property. Um, I've really only seen two kinds out here, and the one that's the most prominent is also like the most harmless, um, and it's the black racer. So yeah, there's definitely those. All right, the man of the hour. We'll see if he'll actually stay calm for us to say hi. Um, Addison, that's a great question. Sickles are an enrichment that we make for the cats. They're basically a cat version of a popsicle. So we take the extra blood, um, the runoff from the meat, hi Manny, and we mix it with water and we freeze it in solo cups. Manny loves him a sickle. Uh, we also make tuna sickles, sardine sickles, chicken sickles. We basically blend it up mix it with water and freeze it, and they love them. Manny gets the popsicle pretty much every weekend when the keeper tour goes by, but we have some of our most um, delicate and our oldest uh, residents get sickles every single day. It helps keep them hydrated, it helps keep them cool. We've got a full belly Manny right now. And he's actually on the lower platform, which is nice. A lot of times he gets on the very top and it's really hard for me to stand below him, <laughs> exposing all of my sensitive areas, like holding my arms up. And you never want to like show your neck and <laughs> the side of your body and anywhere that's, anywhere that's most sensitive. Yeah, Manny's our only Jaguar. Super handsome. Um, so we do a lot of regular wormings and flea treatments and tick treatments and things like that. As far as the cats eating things like snakes or squirrels or you know possums, any of that kind of stuff, again, we're regularly treating them. Typically, they don't mess with them, and if they do, they usually win. So it's not a huge concern. It's something that we are fully aware of, and we're always watching, of course, but knock on wood, we've had pretty good luck. You look like you're kind of up to no good, sir. I'd like to go in, but I'm afraid that he'll move. Let's see if Sundari's still out. Sundari's actually been hanging in her den a lot lately. Mainly because it was cold and rainy and gloomy, so I couldn't blame her. But it looks like she's out in the sun right now. Hi, pretty lady. Here's Sundari soaking up the sun gonna be hard to see her and it's also the cage is a curved side so I'm not actually able to get the camera on her very well either. You want to come say hi Sunbun? Got such a good spot to lay. I don't really want you to move. So Sundari is a 22 year old leopard. I'm really excited. Um, one of our group moderators, um, Holly, and Luana and I, and Marlene's also proofreading. We are jam-packing everybody's um, bios with all new updated information and links to all of their photos and videos and all that, so it's gonna be really, really thorough, which I'm excited about. few of those to go through when I get back to my desk. 
Hi, pretty lady. You look very, very cozy there. It's a good spot. Thank you to the three people that have donated and anyone who's been sharing this feed. That really does help us reach new people. It alerts Facebook that people are interested in what we're doing and we can reach a lot more people that way. Oh, great, Susan. I'm so glad your friends have enjoyed the coloring book. Cindy is just so amazing. And that project was just, I, I, it felt surreal. It was just such a cool thing to have thought up and produced and made it happen and people are loving it. I think we have less than 70 left um, before we would do a reorder, but you can find those at bigcatrescue.biz or on Amazon, amazon.com slash bigcatrescue. And come say hi. Oh, big stretches. Big stretches. Hi. That was a very pretty close-up of your beautiful eyes. Yes. And I'm really enjoying seeing everybody's finished pages too. That's just, it's been so fun to see everybody using different mediums, different color schemes, and just how everybody's getting so creative coloring those pages. We have had a lot of questions about a volume two, but I'm like, let's let everybody get volume one and <laughs> enjoy it for a while. <laughs> All right, Miss Sundari. Zimba Serval is still on Funcation, which is this large enclosure here. He's doing very well, loving it. Some gates closed behind me. Yeah, I was just thinking about some of the cats um, that I haven't seen people finish coloring yet, and Cyrus would be one of them. Um, I'm trying to think. I've seen a lot of Hoovers, a lot of Makitas. I know I've seen an Italia. But I'd love to start seeing some of the other littles. All right, we'll give this a try. Hi. Hi, handsome. Hi. being goofy. I hear you making noise. I hear you making noise. Yeah, I don't know if that's a flirty thing or a scary thing. He loves to show me his teeth. Yes. You don't know how to take that. You don't know how to take that. It's so goofy. You grumbling? You grumbling? <laughs> he is something else. Yep, that's what I thought. You're getting extra sneaky. I was wondering how long that would last. Actually, I also see Armani on her platform. She's in a good spot, so maybe she'll stay there. I fed Armani this morning, so I don't know. She might think I have more food. Hi, gorgeous. Hi, gorgeous. You look very sleepy. Are you very sleepy? You guys are just joining. We've had a great walk out, walk about. I think this is going to be our last, our last stop. 
And we've seen cougar cubs, all of our noisy, chatty littles. Very impressive Manny. Nice close-up of Sundari. <laughs> now we're here with Armani. Beautiful Armani. Oh, so many flops. So many flops today. <laughs> so many flops. Oh. You're awfully beautiful, girl. Actually, that's one in the coloring book I haven't seen is Jade and Armani. I haven't seen that finished yet. I haven't seen a Kali yet. I'm kind of looking next door for Natalia. She might be up on her platform. We can check before I turn this off. Awfully stunning, girl. Awfully stunning. Let's see. Thank you, Marie, for your donation. Alright, she is up there, but can we see her very well? I don't know. Sleeping on her platform too. It's not as good of a shot, but she is out. She's really taken to this platform. She does enjoy it. And not this past Sunday, but the Sunday before, I was cleaning the leopard section and she shot right out of that den. So finally, the air conditioned den that they worked so hard to build for her, she's actually been in it at least, which is great. You can see her fluffy tail there. Well, thank you again to everybody who joined us today. Make sure you go back and rewatch from the beginning if you came in in the middle. See lots of cats today. You can always uh, watch them. They post automatically on our Facebook page. They post on dailybigcat.com and then our show channel, facebook.com slash wildcatwalkabout. It's going to be a gorgeous day today. We may try to go live. I don't know if it's going to be today or tomorrow. We're so busy um, to give Sheena some birthday treats. I know you guys saw Nikita this past Sunday get her birthday treats. So thank you guys. I hope you all have a great day. And I will be seeing you again soon. Bye-bye, Natalia.